Today we are listening a story Danny's Trust. Amy Peterson was a housekeeper 24 hours at Mr and Mrs Elphinstone's house. She was sent there by placement service at the age of 15 before that she was brought up in a church and completed her education in church school. She came there as Elphinstone's baby Danny was small. He was 5 years old. He loved her company as she was also a little girl, but she was talking good and taking good care of him. She was all alone in the world. She got a shelter, a good family. Amy was an intelligent girl. She was very clever too. So she learned gradually all the household works. Danny started going school and learning new things, sharing these things with Amy in the evening. It was a cute relationship. Amy was the complete manager of the house. There were three more helpers there: butler, a gardener, a cleaning lady. Mr and Mrs Elphinstons were also dependent upon Amy. All the things were moving on smoothly while the cleaning lady left the job and went back to her country. A new girl came through placement agency. She was very cunning by nature, but soft spoken. Nobody could guess what she was thinking. and what is going on in her mind and what is the intention behind her every action one day mr and mrs elphinstone had to go to a party mrs elphinstone wanted to wear her precious diamond necklace so she took out the box from the cupboard but the box was empty she got surprised she immediately called amy because all the keys were in her custody she was also surprised such thing never happened in the last 15 years she had been doing this service honestly in fact she had forgotten it was not her house and she was not family member sisley the new girl suggested to do hard search of every buddy's room it was a very weird proposal but it was accepted by mrs elphinstons and it was done surprisingly it was found in amy's bag amy's eyes opened wide and lips uttering oh god no no how it happened at that time mrs elphinston was in hurry so she just snatched the necklace and then both of them went to the party and came back late at night danny came home late evening and amy told her everything happened denny felt sad that amy was blamed for stealing which she had not done he asked where is sisley her boyfriend james has come just she is with her in the garden outside denny's brain was working fast he immediately picked up his movie camera and went out it was their beautiful garden with beautiful lights in it he hid himself behind a tree he saw sisley was standing with her boyfriend james they were laughing loudly she said at last your plan succeeded i trapped the trustworthy lady she will be out tomorrow and i will take charge of the house but now how did you do do steal the necklace oh it was so easy when she was inside bathroom i quickly stole the keys and then the necklace and kept in the suitcase when she came out everything was at its own place she and james again laughed loudly they were care free thinking that nobody is looking them okay good night we'll meet tomorrow James turned around and when he went away and Cicely went inside the house
Next morning, it was Sunday. Everybody were called in the drawing room. Before mom and dad could speak anything, Danny said, Watch a small and interesting movie. First, then speak whatever you want. He closed the windows, attached the camera with the screen and the garden scene appeared. Now it's mom and dad's turn to get surprised and shocked. Cicely was ashamed and wanted to run out. But Danny was at the entrance. He called the police. She was arrested with the boyfriend and punished. Tears were rolling on Amy's cheeks. Everybody hugged her one by one. Her position is now more stronger but more responsible also.